air resistance, also called drag. What is air resistance? Air resistance is a frictional force that air pushes against a moving object. Movement, air resistance. Air resistance is also known as drag. Air resistance always tries to slow a moving object down. The faster you move, the greater the resistance. Let's look into the example, riding a bicycle. When you ride a bicycle fast, you can feel the air pushing back against your face and body. This is because air resistance always acts in the opposite direction to the movement of the object. The faster the bike moves, the bigger the air resistance becomes. This is because of the frictional forces get bigger the faster you go. Look at the forces acting on you and the bicycle when riding a bicycle. Movement, air resistance, which is a frictional force. Friction acts on the tires of the bicycle. Gravity, also called weight. On a day with heavy blowing winds, it is very difficult to walk through air as it pushes back against you. When a parachute falls down, air resists its movement, causing the parachute to fall slowly. The open parachute has a very large surface area. The bigger the surface area, the greater the resistance. On a windy day in autumn, have you seen the beautiful orange or red leaves of trees floating all over the place trying so hard to touch the ground? When a leaf falls from a tree, it floats gently down to the ground. Air resistance pushes up against the surface of the leaf. A leaf is so light, the pull of gravity is not much stronger than the upwards force of the air resistance. So, the leaf falls slowly. Let's see the forces which act on an aeroplane. Air resistance and gravity are two inbuilt forces of nature which act on anything lifted from the earth and move through the air. Thrust and lift are created artificially to overcome air resistance and gravity in order to enable an aeroplane to fly. The engine and propeller combination is designed to produce thrust to overcome air resistance. The wing is designed to produce lift to overcome gravity, also called weight. Reducing air resistance in order for things to move efficiently through air, they need to have the smallest possible surface area. This is because the bigger the surface area, the greater the resistance. Therefore, things need to be streamlined to push against the air. Let's see some examples. Crouching down low on the bikes helps racing cyclists to reduce air resistance on them and cycle fast. Wearing streamlined helmets with special smooth shapes is an advantage for them as they allow the air to flow over the cyclists more easily. Car designers test different streamlined shapes in wind tunnels as they want to see which shape cuts through the air best. Lorries use spoilers to help air flow more smoothly over their bulky shapes. For more facts about air resistance, visit our air resistance page by clicking the link in the video description. For more free lessons, worksheets, quizzes and videos like this, visit kschoollessons.com. Like our Facebook page, subscribe our YouTube channel, follow us on Pinterest and Twitter by clicking the links in this video description. Thanks for watching and see you next time in another video like this.